Reporter Amy Wattis continues our coverage. No matter what you're doing on the internet, whether it's to post a Facebook status update or even send an email, you're leaving behind a digital footprint, making it much easier for authorities to trace you. It's sold to advertisers, so advertisers know which ads to deliver to us, so we get ads that we may be more interested in. Computer science and law expert John Guerin says while we may be cautious when we log on to a specific website, we might not realize what we're actually getting ourselves into. So in the Petraeus situation, there was this notion of a private versus the governmental or corporate email account. Um, but Gmail accounts and public accounts are not very private, and the uh, investigators have a fair degree of access to them. But the computer isn't the only piece of technology we need to become aware of. Now we add to that GPS tracking in our cell phone, we add to that check-ins in apps in our smartphones, and suddenly our digital footprint becomes a very robust map of every place we've been. And a text may not just be read by a friend. People often think that their text messages uh, only are sent, but in fact all of that information is stored by the phone company or the service provider. So what can you do to protect your privacy? If you're concerned about uh, searches, be sure to turn on the privacy settings to reduce uh, the visibility. But if police believe you're up to something that shouldn't be going on, they can gain access to your computer or your cell phone with a search warrant and examine your records. Amy Wattis, 9 News.